Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for the end of the month show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I hope you'll stick around and see what came this month. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share with you what I've gotten in my P.O. box for the month. This used to be a strictly show us your sheet load feature where subscribers would send in cards using the sheet load of cards, but lately it has turned into more of a show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. Today you'll see cards that I get with the sheet load sketches and cards just because. And let me tell you, there was so much that I had to bring down to my studio today to be able to do this video. I was so blessed with so many envelopes and packages and there is even one box from Karen C that looks like it's almost like a early birthday present. It's so big. I can't wait to open it and see what's inside. If you ever want to send in a card for the show us your sheet load feature, I will link the video with specifics in the description box below. And if you ever want to send a just because card, my PO box is always in that description box. Since I can't pile all of my mail on my desktop for you to see all at once, I just picked a selection to share with you on screen before we start opening. There was a few things I wanted to point out about each of these before we get started. Up here on the left is an envelope from Charlotte B. She always sends me the nicest artwork and cards that she has hand created. I love it. And I love on her envelope her addressing how she has call me in one kind of scripty font and crafty Al in another. I just love that. I love, I would be able to love to do hand lettering. I chose the one up here on the right because of all these vintage stamps. Aren't those so fun? Now, I don't know yet who this is from, but I do know that it's from somewhere here in Omaha. So this person is local to me. I can't wait to see what's in there. Over here on the left, Yvonne K never disappoints with there is usually always a card from her when I go to my P.O. box. Well, this month she sent in eight total. How awesome is that? Cannot wait to open these up. And then finally, I thought this little floral label here was so pretty that I wanted to share that. Another thing I want to share before we get into opening the packages is on screen now is a little black and white sneak peek of the upcoming sheet load of cards. Now, if you want to see that full color image, make sure to go to my Instagram account and follow me there. I am super excited for April and I cannot wait to share it with you tomorrow. Let's see what I got in the mail this month. Usually when I do these videos, I just share with you a photo of the card or cards and talk about it as you see the photo on screen. But before I get started with that today, I wanted to talk about a couple packages or an envelope that I got in the mail so I can tell you more about it. This first one is a package from Laura at Ink Road Stamps. You might remember in last month's show us your sheet load feature that I got a package from Biddy Penny where she gave me her personal set of Hamilton themed stamps and Ink Road is where she got those at. Well, Laura saw the video that I had put out and she reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out some more of her stamps and I said I would love to. Now, I'm not going to show you what stamps are in here right now. I'm going to keep that a surprise and I will be using these in April and in May and make sure to keep an eye out for the May sheet load of cards because you might just be able to enter to win an Ink Road Stamps gift certificate. Thanks again, Laura, for sending these. I cannot wait to use them. I completely forgot to mention the good news. When I did share these stamp sets originally, they were sold out and not available for pre-order. But the good news is, as of the time I'm recording this video, they are open for pre-order. I will link them both in the description box below if you want to go check them out. Make sure to keep in mind that there are some notes on the website about how long pre-orders are taking right now. 
but if you ask me, I would definitely be willing to wait for it. Okay, I just about wet myself off screen laughing at this next one. I hadn't opened it yet, but I knew that I wanted to talk a little bit more about it. Well, this is from Mary Gunn of Craft Roulette, and if you caught, I think, my last live with her on Craft Roulette, you might have seen a little bit too much of my cat Linden in that video. I will link it in that description box below if you want to check it out. But she has sent me a little note here, and you have to see this. So she knows I love Hamilton too, right? And of course, Lyndon is exposing herself on the video. And <laughs> she drew me as a Hamilton character, which I love. And it says, not throwing away my scraps or my cat. And then, um, <laughs> so here is my cat from behind. And she has a little jewel where her special... <laughs> Okay, Mary, you win. I absolutely love this. And this is definitely going up on my little art wall. And it says casting direction. I'm waiting for your call. I love it. Thank you, Mary. But anyway, now on to some serious talk about craft roulette. Mary is trying to reach a thousand subscribers on her YouTube channel and I know that many of you have already helped us out with that but I would love it if you would check out the Craft Roulette channel here on YouTube, watch some of the videos, see if it's something you like and subscribe if you do. She is super close to a thousand and I would like to bump her over that number. Her channel once again is linked in the description box below. Thanks so much Mary. Next up today are the eight cards from Yvonne K that I shared the envelopes with you earlier. She has used a variety of sheet load of card sketches and each card just about came with a little note. In one of them, she said that she has been enjoying rediscovering all of her wonderful products as she redoes her craft room. And I hear her there, you know, starting in January, I moved my room around and the same thing has happened to me. It's like Christmas all over again. I also wanted to show you the super cute envelope seals she had on the back of some of her envelopes. These were so adorable, Yvonne. I hope you'll share where you got these from. Next up are the gorgeous creations from Charlotte B. in Texas. She sent in two envelopes this month. She sent two gorgeous cards, and that one in the upper right, that hummingbird, is actually from a stamp that she carved herself. She shared with me an adorable honeybee stamp set, some of the prints from the stamps that she has created, and then that beautiful bird that she has watercolored. When I do get around to doing my studio tour here, since I've reorganized, you're going to see some more of her artwork in my room. Thank you so much, Charlotte. This next card is what was waiting for me inside of that fun green envelope with those vintage stamps, and it is from Cheryl of Nebraska. I am loving the St. Patrick's Day card. Love that little llama on the front. And on the inside, it says, Wooly lucky to know you. I love it. Thank you so much, Cheryl, for taking the time to send this in. If you do ever send me another card, I would love for you to add your address so I could send you a card back. Liz H. from Georgia sent in this beautiful card using the March 2021 sheet load of cards. Hers was the envelope with that pretty floral label, and it is almost like the flowers on that label match the flowers on the paper. It is so beautiful. Now, another thing I wanted to point out is that pink vellum leaf die cut behind the sentiment. That is such a great touch. Thank you so much, Liz, for sending in a card. Jennifer D. from California is another viewer who I can count on at least one card a month, usually multiples. This month she sent in two. The one on the left uses February 2021 and the one on the right uses March 2021. She has also put a little vellum die cut behind her sentiment. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Brian D. of Mississippi is a first-time submitter to the Show Us Your Sheet Load. He actually made this card and sent it out as part of the Share the Love giveaway. I appreciate you sending this, Brian. Sorry you didn't win, but I really did love seeing your card. 
Terry R. of Massachusetts is another first timer at Show Us Your Sheet Load, and she has used the March 2021 sheet load of cards to create this lovely masculine card. She also took the time to write me a very nice note. Thanks so much, Terry. Next, we have this beachy themed card from Betty H. of Oregon. I am loving the colors on this and there's a little sparkle on those shells. It is just gorgeous. She also used the March 2021 sheet load of cards. Thank you so much, Betty. This card from Lisa S. of California is clucking adorable. I am in love with that adorable image. The pattern papers are just perfect. Lisa, you have to let me know below who makes this. Thank you for sending in a card and the nice note. Lisa is part of my sheet load of cards collaboration team, so make sure to check her out with the rest of the team this Friday when they share their latest cards using the April 2021 edition. Alma D of Canada used the August 2019 sheet load of cards for the card that she submitted this month. It's a little bit of a throwback. I love the papers, the colors, and how she has used the free printable from January on her sentiment strip. I love that she inked the edges to help make that stand out. Thank you so much, Alma. Brenda H. of Minnesota sent in this next beautiful card. I am loving all of the details with the little pearls and the ribbon and that beautifully punched border edge there that's lacy. And I left in her envelope here because I love how she has used a scrap from that purple pattern paper on the flap of her envelope. What a great way to just kind of make it more personalized and use up some of those scraps we might have left over. Thank you so much, Brenda, for your card. Stephanie R. of Texas sent in this birdie full card using the March 2021 sheet load of cards. I'm loving how she used the tag cut apart for her sentiment and that little birdie is so adorable. Thank you, Stephanie. Debbie V. of Florida sent in this blinged up St. Patrick's Day card using the March 2021 edition. I am loving the sparkle and the gems. And then you'll notice over on the right, she has put a little sheet on the front because of the gems and some of the dimension where she says this is to help protect the card. Now, I often put in these white pieces of cardstock too, but I love how she has added that message. Thank you, Debbie, for taking the time to send in a card. Ann T. of Michigan is another fresh face to show us your sheet load. She has used a March 2021 edition to create this adorable birthday card. I am loving the fun colors and those cute little hearts. I do have to say that whenever I opened up a birthday card this month, I'm like, oh, they knew my birthday was in April. But then I just kind of forget that, hey, they're probably just making birthday cards. But thank you so much, Ann, for this cute card. The sender of this next card definitely knows my birthday. This is Gloria J of Iowa and she is my mom. She is so great about sending cards for all occasions and she used the March 2021 sheet load of cards to make this fun St. Patrick's Day card. I love how she just outlined that hat image with colors instead of filling it all in. Such a fun technique. Thanks mom and I'll see you soon. Christina M. of Illinois sent in this St. Patrick's Day card using the December 2020 sheet load of cards. And this was actually part of my Share the Love giveaway as well. I was one of the lucky recipients for her to earn those extra entries. Thank you so much for taking the time to send me a card. Glenda D. of Florida sent in this gorgeous spring themed card and she has actually used some of the clear cardstock that you know that I love to make clear cards with. She said this was as close as she would get to using a clear card base and just look how it opens up into this fun easel card. Thank you so much Glenda. I love what you've done with it. Laurel D. from California has done another little throwback here. She used the April 2020 sheet load to create this fun springy themed card. Thank you so much, Laurel. 
Deanne W. of Florida used one of my most favorite ever sheet load of cards, the July 2020 edition, to create this thank you card. I am absolutely loving the soft colors, and if you look behind the sentiment on top of the floral paper, she has half of a polka dot vellum doily on there. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Deanne. Before we get on to the packages, I realized that I never told you about the other two ways that you can show us your sheet load. Now they are mentioned in that video I have linked below, but just a heads up that you can send in cards or you can share them on Instagram or YouTube using the provided hashtags each month. I will have links to the YouTube search and the Instagram search in the description box below so you can get more inspiration for the March 2021 sheet load of cards. Now on to the rest of my happy mail. Karen C. of Virginia sent me mail twice this month. The first one was this gorgeous butterfly card using the February 2021 sheet load of cards. And the next was that box that I told you I thought it was going to be like an early birthday present. And boy was I right. Inside the box were some of my favorite sugary treats, Starburst and Skittles, along with beautiful cards that she has created with sheet load and a little wrapped gift. Now, I know that Karen has been paying attention to my QOTV question and answers lately because I'm pretty sure I mentioned Starburst and Skittles. Inside of that wrapped package was two Echo Park paper pads and then there was also these adorable mason jars that she has created. Echo Park is definitely one of my favorite brands to buy paper with, and these mason jars will come in super handy as embellishments. Karen said she made these with her envelope punch board. I definitely have to find out how you did that. Thank you so, so much, Karen. This was such a fabulous treat to receive. Because Karen pays such good attention to the questions and the answers that I tried to give out in each video, I thought now would be a great time to stop by with the QOTV or the question of the video. Karen was actually the inspiration behind my last one, which is what was your favorite color? And she has also, not because of a QOTV, but she has also noticed that floral papers are some of my favorites and that's why she picked those two paper pads out for me. So today's question is, what is your favorite pattern to use in your crafting? Let me know in the description box below and don't forget to add the hashtag, hashtag QOTV, so I know that you have answered it and want me to see it. For me, Karen definitely hit it right on the nose with florals. I would have to say my second favorite is probably polka dots. Jessica N. of Florida sent in four cards this month. The one in the bottom center contained a nice little note from her, and the other three used Authentique's Quest paper collection to create three cards using the March 2021 sheet load of cards. I am loving how she turned the rounded corner piece at the bottom into a fishtail banner, and then look how she decorated each of the envelopes with a coordinating stamp. Thank you so much, Jessica. These are gorgeous. T. Thomas of Indiana sent in these next two cards that use the March 2021 sheet load of cards. I am loving the nature stamps, the nature paper, and that craft with the green. Thank you so much. Elizabeth R. of Georgia sent in 10 gorgeous cards. And nine of them, she made three different cards for three different months. That was January, February, and March of 2021. And then at the top center was just another card that she made and sent with a nice note inside. If you would like to check out more of her creations, she is at Lizzie Stamps on Instagram. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for the gorgeous cards. Pamela B. of North Carolina sent in these two beautiful cards. The one on the left uses the February 2021 sheet load of cards. I'm loving the purple and how she just kept that image just really simple. 
On the right, she has adapted the November 2019 sheet load of cards for a larger card size. That is one of the things you can definitely do with sheet load. Make it your own and have it fit your needs. Thank you so much, Pamela, for sending in the cards. Katie D of Canada sent in two cards and a little goodie for me this month. The card on the left uses a March 2021 layout. I am loving that little vellum circle behind the butterfly. And then over on the right, she made me a very cute thank you card, wrote a nice little note inside, and then she gifted me with a sheet of bling. She must know that no card is finished without some sparkle. Thank you so much, Katie. Barbara S. of Florida has been super busy making sheet load of cards. She definitely sent in a sheet load of them this month. They use various sketches or editions, and then she had sent so many, one of the cards and a nice note from her had sneaked off to the left. So I did take a picture of that so you could see that as well. Thank you so much, Barbara, for taking the time to send in these cards and your note. And last but not least was the envelope from Cherie P. of Missouri. She sent in three cards using the March 2021 sheetload of cards, and I love how she has made each one of them her own, whether it was rotating the sketch or using different kinds of corner punches. Thank you so much, Cherie, for the cards. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the beautiful cards and little gifts that I got this month in my P.O. box. Thanks again to everyone who took the time and effort to send me something. I love seeing your cards, reading your messages, and a special thanks for the little gifts you sent in. Until my next video, which is the new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.